summer is here, and with that means lots of opportunities for fun in the sun are coming your way. But if you're planning on spending a lot of time outdoors this summer, it's important that you also remember to play it safe as well. This means that you should make sure to apply an adequate amount of sunscreen before going outside in order to minimize the chance of health conditions such as skin cancer that can be brought about by soaking up too much sun. While this sounds easy enough in theory, there are a few key areas of the body that people have a habit of accidentally overlooking when applying sunscreen before a big outing, which can potentially increase your risk of developing a sunburn, or even worse. Before we start, be sure to show your love for Bestie by subscribing and ringing the notification bell. That way, you'll never have to worry about missing out on any of the new videos we upload every day. Also, make sure you're getting the full experience by watching this video all the way until the end. Skin cancer is one of the most common forms of cancer. In fact, it's actually the most common. With the American Academy of Dermatology reporting 9,500 people being diagnosed with this particular form of cancer every day in just the United States. With such staggeringly high numbers, you can see why protecting your skin from soaking up too much sun is an incredibly high priority. Especially during the summertime when the sun is out in full force, and while many people make sure to cover up with sunscreen before spending too much time outdoors, and rightfully so, we might add, there are still a few key areas which more often than not end up becoming neglected compared to others. So, which parts of the body tend to be most often ignored when slathering on sunscreen? Well, while people usually remember to apply sunscreen to most of their face, the three areas most frequently overlooked for sun protection tend to be the lips, ears, and eyelids. Since these parts of the face are ones people seem most likely to forget about when applying sunscreen, they also tend to be some of the areas most commonly subjected to potentially damaging sunburns. In an interview, dermatology professor Dr. Rita Pichardo Geisinger had this to say about the unintentional outbreak of sunscreen-related negligence. I think people do not pay attention to these areas, ears, lips, eyelids, and there are not specific guidelines and education regarding the use of sunscreen on these forgotten areas. In general, we recommend that you apply sunscreen on all exposed areas. In recent years, educational campaigns about proper skin and sun safety have been seemingly pretty effective when it comes to reminding people to cover up with adequate sun protection in order to prevent developing sunburns. However, in order to combat this particular problem, more effort will be needed in order to remind people to apply sunscreen to these key areas which seem to be missed on a regular basis. These blind spots that people often forget to provide protection for pose an increased cancer risk to the general population. And as such, more awareness needs to be spread about the importance of protecting these vital areas. Another important thing that is commonly overlooked by many people is that when you choose to apply sunscreen matters just as much as where you choose to apply it. Many people only think it's necessary to apply sunscreen when it's particularly bright and sunny outside. However, even on cold or cloudy days, the chance of accidentally developing a sunburn is still highly possible. In fact, cloud cover only blocks about 20% of the sun's UV rays, meaning that you'll probably want to smear on some sunscreen even during the days that are overcast. In order to make sure that you're adequately protected, it's recommended that you wear a sunscreen with a protection factor, or SPF, of at least 30 or higher on areas of skin that are exposed to the sun on a daily basis. In general, though, it is usually agreed upon that the higher SPF your sunscreen is, the better. Additionally, when it comes to applying sunscreen over your eyes, dermatologists recommend using sunscreen products with physical blockers, such as zinc oxide or titanium oxide, as opposed to chemical blockers which can potentially cause irritation to your eye region. For lips, be on the lookout for lip balm, lip gloss, or lipstick that contains an SPF number in order to make sure your mouth is adequately protected as well. Also, if you have a pair of sunproof glasses, make sure to wear those when outside as well. If you don't have a pair of sunglasses with UV protection, you should probably go buy some. Some hats are also made with fabrics with built-in SPF protection, so you may want to invest in one of those as well in order to make sure that your entire head receives an extra bit of protection. Finally, always remember to reapply your sunscreen every two hours spent in order to make sure that your precious protection from the sun isn't wearing off or being washed away by your own sweat. 
Hopefully, this video was able to give you a bit more knowledge on how to stay safe this summer. What are some other tips and tricks to protect yourself from soaking in too much sunlight that you feel are worth sharing? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us keep the conversation going. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.